Fast bomb. Oh, the TPs are coming. Cancel that TP out from the Slardar and Zippe is down. Shad. He wants Ace now. Open wounds to slow the troll. Gets a bash there, but he'll dodge the swarm as Boom zips in. Yules into the air, and there comes the cavalry. They are riding into battle with everything they've got. Aggressively moving, but the time lapse in the BKB allows Ace to turn and fight. The bash and the nets. Boom is already fine. Cheese and Essence Ring will keep him just as fine and dandy as the supernovas come in, and Ace yeah, is being left alone. Boom will get out of there. The troll closing in on that kill, but it wasn't quite enough. And the Storm of Spirit zip zapping, looking for more, but he's too low on HP and mana. They found Just Spell for Prism. That first move. Tidehunter is the one who's holding it. Oh, yes. Good blink from Chessy. Yule's up from Boom, though. Stops the retreat. Nice Bramble Maze. And the Silence. Forcing the Yules and the Lotus Orb to come. Boom, still going to get crushed, stunned. The Ravage is there. And Troll, Troll Warlord doesn't get a single spell off. Oh, Terrorizer's landed, but this is Viking running home with a victory. The buyback from Troll comes now as Ace wants to get back into the battlefield. And now they focus on Chessy, the isolated Death Prophet dead, and might have to buy back herself as the Yules and the Slaughter will secure the demise of him as well. There's the DP Jump from they are in. Chessy BKBs, but there's no Blink Crush. Zibe doesn't get his initiation well enough, and a time lapse back keeps Troll alive. But they're struggling to stick on targets. Now the bashes, the control in, but the Yule Scepters just perpetually sending the Troll skywards, and GG's called. That's the answer. All of the problems that Viking brought to the table, and Misery, all they can muster is a shift GG end. An answer to end this one out. 33 to 17. A 33k net worth lead. Trying to clear out that mid wave and push into tier one, but Viking weren't ready for that and they're not ready for this. The PA in onto the Lena now. As Zibe has a spear back up in a second. Can launch it out and catch out. The Lena doesn't even need it. Holding it for another target because Tiny hasted, tossing back. The SF into the center. The avalanche there as Sven does get a stun down. The TP out with the BKB, but the RP lands. Pilot is there and that's his job. All he has to do is RP a core and it's a good one. And he needs to get. And Viking are running out of options so quickly. Double godlike. Both Chessy and Ace. Three volleys. Oh, bringing Shadow, Shadow Fiend. Down to half HP. With the Arena of Blood now. Supernova in on top of them all. They try and focus it down with the right clicks. And they've killed off Zibbe. But the RP from Pilot die. It secures the egg. And they can keep on fighting. This is it. That's game over. There's no way that Viking can face up against this. And five men take it. The game and the series. Yeah, good performance from... Five men were at the laning stage, at least the top, didn't think you can find it. No, off the mark. Tries to predict the movement, but he's whiffed it. Now I suppose got to run. As they're chasing him down, the slow is there. b trying to push them back. They'll use the supernova to stop Windstrike from diving in any further to keep Iceberg safe, and it worked for now. Now with the supernova ending, DK is ready to go straight back in. It's time the stun from Iceberg does connect. They're turning, oh, but is in. He's able to get the black goal on the three of them with the Omni slash damage. Oh, it's beautiful! Yamich just slams him down, walks in and catches the three, ends up in the four of them dying. What a beautiful move from the Enigma. As it, I mean, plays like that. It... And they know they're, they're squishy, that's the thing too. It's like, even DK Fogus, if he steps up a little too far, oh. he gets speared in and can just die. Doesn't get the spear connection to the tower, but they do have the Yules. The stun, have they got the burst? They try with the Laguna, Moe shows out, he's able to save themselves some time with the self Yules. He's trapped in the arena though, and they've got the damage to take him on the side. Railbo, the damage from this drow is so much. Railbo's trying to run, but look at these hits from v It takes him out, the supernova's there, the light strikes out onto aggressive Charles. The oh jump's my gone God. down. Na'Vi making quick moves as Windstrike just hanging around, I guess just a, a little too long, and they've also found Dakalis. The light strikes out, they'll burst down another, they'll get four kills, Na'Vi. As uh, just a bit, there's just so many things you have to take into account now at this stage for Yamich. It's, he's got to hit something pretty perfect. His mid lane, General. Spear off the mark onto DK Fogas, as DK's going to live. He's able to chain up the side. Roger will catch up the Snowball, Supernova down. Windstrike will have to step away from it. They don't have the means to take it out. What? Hey! See ya. There's Double Laguna. From Iceberg, a couple of those. The Jug says bye bye. As he goes down, she's on General, General. keeping him alive. Beach trying to cover him up, but General's able to step away. Pots the BKB in the fair fire, and he's fine. The Doom is out. It was, was not the cheese, it was a bit of, a, bit of the old green stuff. The fair fire keeps him alive. Now, on to aggressive child, Roger. 
And the snowball heading over. General able to jump in onto Takalis. Nukes oh. down the Enchantress. Omni Slash is coming out. But Twin always want to fly and beat you. But the damage is incredibly underwhelming. The Jug not able to finish him off. As that is a dead Jug for 110 seconds. Aggressive oh. Child is out. General trapping in Railboat inside the arena. b tune is just cleaning it up with ease. The CG is called Na'Vi. We'll take this game one. Win strike and then the rest of Charles is going to turn. Gonna try and go for always want to fly. First him low. He's got the supernova. Iceberg stepping over. They're trying to hit the egg, but they can't do so. Win strike's got to run. Ducalis is going to be held underneath the supernova as he'll fall. General trying to chase for more. Has Lasso up if he's able to get in on them. The aggressive child's able to jump away. Arena comes in from the side. They'll head in with the spear straight away. Look at a burst down the Dark Willow. Sonic waves out, and that will do it. Roger goes down. Dies back up. As always, want to fly. Gets away. Found the strike in as the aggressive child. He's trying to chase for these two. But the turn's there with Aguna. He just jumped into his own death as they lose aggressive child. The stolen light strike does come into play, though, from Wind Strike. As Yamich will manage to set up for Wind Strike. They might have to try to force it if they don't want to give it up here. This is risky, Windstruck. I don't, I don't know if they can stick around for this one. The oh, bash the bash. Is out to aggressive uh -oh. Charlie. He's taking a lot He's of damage. So trying to get the ult out. There's the dive, and they do get the lift up. They're able to burst down the Phoenix. The Rojan goes down, with the fear's in play. But it doesn't matter. Aggressive Child was able to get the kill and pick up the Aegis. But still, Na'Vi are cleaning up despite that Aegis pickup from Windstrike. It doesn't matter. They take it out of the hands of the Monkey King straight away. Kill him off a second time. DK Fogas turns, pushes back Iceberg with the spear, but the flame break from General knocks him back. The Mars will fall. Triple kill for Iceberg. Only Relbo uh, actually out of it all at the end of the day there. It's it's I mean they get the Roche, but th this was always gonna happen. Yeah, there's not a lot of hope here. Which they're gonna have to Really pray what? some type of mistakes. Do you manage get the sun on always want to fly after he dove? But now our aggressive child, he's got to put the ult there and then on top of the arena is down. They have caught the Spectre. v falling falling low. They've got the damage to take him out. He's able to put the man to step aside. He's still alive. Iceberg steps over. Blink hit from Railball. The horns there. He's able to jump out and away. Laguna comes down onto Railball. v will live. They do lose the bat. But the root and the stun is holding them all in position. The light track away from the Iceberg follows up. Triple kill for him. Only to Carlos and aggressive child left alive. His aggressive child will make it away to Carlos will not this is an ultra kill for iceberg they just cannot fight navi at no, all you have to jump him you have to you can't jump anyone else can they can they change can they change stun him i don't think so let's see i'm not gonna be able to spare him for the let's arena see. he's getting low found this out as well sonic wave they do it they got him they do it they take down v2 now can they get out without all dying that's the question three dead four dead down make that five nope that they're all dead and there we have it. GG is called Na'Vi. I mean, this day they did make this one look pretty simple. Link is not going to come out for anytime soon. It relocates on its way over. They're in onto Yapsaw, straight on top of him. Yapsaw holding them down with the stuns, blows down the Echo. As Nisha's has turned up, Wipers going to die. They've got the tornado over onto Tiger. And it ends up being a terrible relocate for Link. But Foxy's trying to TP out. He won't make it. Three oh, oh. dead on Liquid. Yeah, off they go. Let's see what sort of a catch they can find. They're looking to go for the long wrap around. Secret R on the high ground, though. Puppy heading over to mid. Where do Liquid want to jump? They don't want to go for the CM. They want to go for something bigger. Maybe they can find Matthew. They jump in with the gust immediately onto the central, putting a stop to any potential. Who's stopped? The arena's down. Fisher out as well. They've locked him out. Telekinesis is there on the drought. They put the BKB on Mickey as well as the Stampede with the Rocket Barrage. They take down Zai Matsu. He's just punching in a boxy. Turns over towards Tiger. Tiger's going to go down too. And Matsu, he's sliding over onto Mickey. And Mickey, his BKB's already used. He's got nothing else to save himself. The Fisher blocks him off, and Mickey goes down. Double kill for Matsu. And I'll tell you what there, Matu with that gust to start things off. If he didn't get that gust... I mean, against Secret, I think you've got to try crazy stuff. Mickey might try and go for the steal here. He's going to they jump have... in. It's a little early, though. They have BKBs. And now Mickey is okay. going to be taken out. He's going to be taken Rosh out. Down. Can Tiger make the jump? Tiger's trying to look to get in, but the Chakram from Zai just blocking him off. He can't get close enough to get the angle to get in. Secret... The Roche is picked up now with the reroute kick coming back in. Poxy is able to get the arena down on top of the echo from Tiger. They are able to blow a puppy. They turn over towards Matu. Matu getting low, but they can't quite finish him off. Even the one squad foot with the pull in. Maybe he can. He can. Aegis taken away. Jackson's cut down to Sadie though. Matu is going to be back for round two. Tiger caught in the pit. Zip back over. They managed to kill off Matu a second time. A secret taking a, a bit of a hit here, but still overall, Liquid are the ones having a run. Mickey in the Chakram again, Zai, which is full control. Holds him in place with the clumsy net. 
Found Mikke. Oh, and Insania, they're gonna they get the Io. They found the Io. Do they have enough burst again? He's still able to get over to the side, but the X Mark drags him back. Koifa moving in on Tanisha. But Nisha is able to put the BKB. Koifa zips out of the boat in time. He'll make it away. Matu zone to the both, side. Boxy. Both the he takes some hits here from Matu. The Fisher will block him off momentarily. But Zai is straight in. Shaq from the slowdown tiger. Boxy hiding in the trees. He's able to jump over, but secret. They're going to see him. He's going to jump straight over into the vision of them. The X mark is down. He'll get the arena out. Turns the start onto Yapsil. Point for his forward, but the silence is there. Toss ups there from Mikkei. But Yapsil, he's, he's still alive. alive. He's able to make it away now. Point oh falling low. Who uses the yours? The Bloodstone here will not save him. As it's three dead on Liquid. They can't even kill Yapsil as Yapsil. See what they can get to the jump. They're going to look for Matu. They're in straight away. Can they blow him up in time? He's getting low. They're in. They Echo slam down. They've got him. Matu's gone. Quote comes in on a boxy and Mikkei over to the side. Quote for he's got the ground on a puppy. They're on top of the profit. Quote for and he finished puppy off in time. He can we'll take down a second. Now, Nisha, Yapsil, they're ready to chase in and try and fight back as Puppy comes in with a buyback. Quite for into the trees, he'll hide. There'll be a buyback from Mikke as well. Spear onto Yapsil, silence as well. They're trying to finish him off. They've got the Fordex drag in, but again, the Glimmer keeping Yapsil safe. He's going to live. The roots out onto Koif, but Koif was down and out. Remnant forward as Yapsil chasing him with the axe. Combo from Mikke, not enough to finish Yapsil. They do get him onto the tree with a spear, but again, the Invis, they're keeping Yapsil alive. He's able to put the slight. He's fine. Boxy and Mikke having a run. Run. The tether and the relocate will take Boxy out, but Mikke's left behind. He's dead for 90 seconds as that's a dieback from the tiny. Everything again just blown on an effort to kill Matumba Man. The relocate actually brings back in onto the front line straight into a two man torrent, as they'll Jesus. call it. GG is there. They'll tap out of this. A secret yet again winning.